guys. Hello. We are uh, Svetlana, Benny, and Zelda from Kamui Cosplay. Follow Zelda on Instagram under Kamui Skorgi. And today we're going to show you how to make Divas gun from Overwatch. Yes. Um, this time we're trying something different because we will not use any of our fancy tools like laser cutter or 3D printer and just go back to the roots. Back to roots. And make everything using just simple EVA foam and acrylic paints, no airbrush. No airbrush, everything by hand. Everything by hand. This will be a three-part video series and the first thing we're gonna do today is to create the blueprint for the gun. You can also just use the um, cosplay reference kit from Lisa. Just print it out, yeah. and use that as a blueprint. And cut it like out. Like you can see in our uh, Symmetra video. Symmetra video. Like how we did it. Here, there. But yeah. just creating a blueprint is a lot easier and more exact, so yes. that's what we're going to do today. Actually, everything we gonna show you in the next three videos, you can also check out in our guns and rifle books which you can find in our shop. Yes, Get link it. is in Get the it. video description. Below. Video description, yes. Yeah. Awesome. And then, let's go! Let's start the first video. First video. So, most people use either Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator to create their blueprints. Since there are already a ton of tutorials on how to create things in Inkscape, I'd figured I'd show you how to use Illustrator instead. Don't worry though, they all work pretty much the same. So you'll be able to apply most of these techniques in every other vector-based program as well. But to begin, create a new file and use the import option to place your favorite reference picture in the work area. For this example, I'm using a side view of the official Blizzard reference kit. Place it in the center and reduce the opacity a little bit. Now click on the little sign next to our layer 1 and lock it. This will prevent you from accidentally grabbing and moving your image again. Create a new layer on top and set a nice thick line thickness. All you need to do now is to use the path tool and start tracing the outline of your reference. You can click to add angular points and click hold and draw to create round shapes. If you mess up, don't worry. You can always use the point selection tool to go back in and correct your shapes. In Illustrator, you can also just click on an angular point and use the little round icon to soften the edges a little bit. Whenever you create a blueprint, already try to think about how this prop would need to be separated into layers of actual material. Try to mark shapes like the handle, the barrel or the trigger with thicker lines to make the coming build easier to figure out. I've speeded up the process a little bit so you can actually see the entire thing coming together. Sometimes reference pictures do not show the prop exactly from the side or with a skewed perspective. So keep that in mind and try to correct any weird looking shapes. Barrels and other circles will look flat from the side view. You still have to be careful though to make their edges the same length and angle. As soon as I was done with the black thick outlines, I changed my line thickness to something thinner and continued to work on the details. If you want certain shapes to overlap others, you can just fill them with white and bring them to the foreground. You can also hold the Alt key and drag and drop shapes to create duplicates of them. I also use additional thin lines to mark any three-dimensional shapes or any other parts that Svetlana has to dremel off afterwards. Oh yeah, one thing I always tend to forget, save your file. Really, if you don't want to lose your progress, hit the Ctrl and S shortcut as often as you can. If you need to build more complicated shapes, there's also another useful little helper called the Pathfinder. 
You can use this handy tool to combine, cut or exclude shapes using one simple mouse click. Okay, fast forward a little bit. Don't want this video to be too long. If you need to cut some of your shapes at certain points, just use the scissors tool and click where you want them to be cut. Easy as that. All that's missing now are some details. I used a font very similar to the Overwatch font for the numbers on the side. I scaled and morphed them a bit until they fit. I also created the keychain and the diva logo, which are based off another screenshot I found on the internet. Well, and that's basically all you need to know. You can already use this side view to create an awesome prop on your own. So, and that's how you create nice blueprints for your guns. Props. Yes, uh, you can actually download this baby on the top and the front view on our website if you don't want to build it yourself. So but build over... it yourself. Yeah, build it yourself. Now you know how. <laughs> <laughs> but just head over to cowboycosplay.com and grab the blueprint. And if you want to know how to turn this whole thing into an actual gun, just check out the next video. So, yeah. see, see ya! Bye-bye!